David Allen Scully. Um, David Allen Scully, what would you have to say about the Philadelphia music scene? Well, um, it's hard to say right now considering we're in a bad economy, but the Philadelphia music scene itself is well known for the R&B and hip hop. Pretty much the soul as well in that matter. But other than that, you don't want to be in Philadelphia to perform. You want to be either in New York or Los Angeles or Chicago or New Orleans in this case. Um, but I'd say that if you want to make in this industry, you really, really got to try hard and believe in yourself and uh, make sure that you have the right material that people want to hear and what's out there right now. Don't play stuff that's, you know, beyond what it is. But other than that, it's all good to go. Uh, David Onsko, do you have a, uh, a record out that you want to promote right now? Um, uh, I guess, yeah, I guess I'm working on one. Uh, the webpage is www.myspace.com slash David Allen Scully. And uh, all the music is there. It's all originals. Um, other than that, uh, the record um, is still being worked on and produced, but hopefully it will be out there before the end of the year. Uh, where did you go to college? I went to Berkeley College of Music in Boston, Massachusetts, and I did Juilliard for one year in New York. Uh, so what is what, is, what would you say is the biggest show you've ever done? The biggest show I've ever done was in um, Atlantic City, and it was at the... Well, I can't recall because I was too young to remember, but I remember it was at the Taj Mahal and I was eight years old. The other one was, the very large one I've ever done was probably in Boston, Massachusetts during college, and that was over 5,000 people were there, and that was an open mic, and that was a competition which I've won, and it was pretty, pretty hard, but I'll just say that that was the largest one I think I've ever had, about 5,000 people. Do you want to talk about your booking company at all? Yeah, uh, DAS Bookings Incorporated, uh, for David Allen Scully, and you can always call at 484-995-9174 and we're looking for all talent of any kind. If you're a singer, actor, dancer, comedian, an artist, or uh, maybe you just maybe you just want to be uh, like a writer, or maybe a poet, you want to get your stuff out there, I'd be glad to help you. Please give me a call at that number and uh, we'll definitely, um, hopefully something good will come out. Megan O'Brien. Megan O'Brien. Um, what bar is this that we're at right now? W.C. Murphy's. Do you want to promote bar. it at all? What? Do you want to promote it I at all? It's a great bar. It's a great time to get fucked up here. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, what would you have to say about the Philadelphia music scene? Philadelphia music scene? Yeah. Like, explain yourself. Explain yourself first. Okay, um, like who is your favorite artist in the Philadelphia music scene? Uh, I don't know. I don't have a favorite artist. Um, Who's yours? Who's mine? Yeah. I think mine would have to be probably Johnny Miles. Which is? Do you like any hip hop from Philadelphia? Hip hop is
It generally does. I think I know my Chinese friend, his name is Han. I said, Han, hey, you've got a small pick and a nice variety, don't you? Oh, and, uh, and my spick friend, Jesus, he said, hey, your name's Jesus, but you're going to fucking stab me. What the fuck's up with that? And, you know, and, you know I have some black friends, too, and I just have to make sure, if you're around, I have to ask them. I say, hey, you're going to roll up to the fucking supermarket and have a lot of paper for your fucking red milk and water bottle to fucking be absent. It's just something I've got to ask. You know? But after that, you know, I grow friends. I grow relationships. I do. I do. I really do. I have plenty of friends. It's all a good thing. But I can't help it with my wife. You know, my wife. It's like, I'm in there and I'm like, honey. You know, first of all, first of all, before I get into that, what's up with marriage? Is anybody married again? Who's married? Who's married? See? First of all, marriage is like the napalm bomb of the blowjob stuff. Okay? Like,
sitting there with Mr. Matt Panacci a lot. What would you have to say about the Philadelphia music scene, bro? I think uh, I there's a lot of people working real hard in the area. Are you here for a comment? And, uh, yeah, just stop I, music. Think, I think there's a lot of good shit starting to come out, I guess. I heard like the hip hop scene started to come up a little bit. And uh, I heard the metal scene started to come up a little bit. I swear to God. See that kind of a lot of meaning in the scene. A couple people, you know, come out with some shit, see if we can get. Some national you know, recognition. Now, about what would you say about the Philadelphia music scene now compared to where it was maybe 10 years ago? Uh, I feel like maybe 10 years ago it was actually probably doing pretty well just because a lot of scenes were doing pretty well 10 years ago. And I think it kind of really fell off starting 10 years ago. I know you, I know and, uh, hopefully, I know you, know, you know, someone can, uh, you know, obviously turn around and put it on. Congratulations. Thank you very much. What band are you in? Thank you. Life's a disaster. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, uh, you have a record you want to promote? Yeah, we got a record called Go Fuck Your Face. Coming out. Uh, actually, yeah. we're doing the next month or so. It's expected by October. Uh, October 21st, uh, opening up for the Misfits. Uh, uh, and uh, we've got a couple of buses going up there at Big Party, so check it out. My name's Matt. You gotta do it a little better than that. You gotta do it a little better than that. Oh, you gotta do that a little better than that. What do you mean a little better? You gotta make it look more convincing. Huh? You gotta make it look more convincing. Alright, give me. All right, let me gum it, let me gum it. <laughs> yeah, my name's Meg. How are you? Pretty good. Um, so what would you have to say about the Philadelphia music scene? Philadelphia music scene fucking rocks. <laughs> Um, I don't know what I'd have to say, but um, I would have to say. <laughs> Stephanie, what would you have to say about the Philadelphia music scene? This is what we have to say about. This is what I got to say about the Philly music scene. <laughs> Listen to that right here. Yeah, I gotta say something. That's what I got to say about the Philly music scene right there. All of that. I'm chasing. Are you guys leaving? I'm good. I'm Oh my god. So ask your question. Okay. Uh, what would you have to say about the Philadelphia music scene? Never heard of them. <laughs> okay. Philadelphia music scene fucking raps, dude. Everyone who hasn't heard of them should hear them right now. That's not what I was going to say. Alright, I would say, <laughs> listen, plain and simple. No fucking heard of them. I'm just kidding. No, no. No. He's deleting people. I might, I might. I might get fired for this, I probably will, but um, if you guys want to hook up for the camera, that's cool. We're best friends. We, I don't exactly. have a boyfriend. I'm all as we know bisexual. Okay. I'd rather hook up with this fucking wall. Can you do that? <laughs> No. <laughs> I'll hook up with my we beer. Are, that's my beer. No, we are experienced that in years. We are all high school. Oh, uh, yeah? It was fun. It wasn't fun. No, we were having fun. You know, waiting up in the building. That's like, don't be more to that guy. You know what I mean? Three of us need to shower.
So she took me to meet her brother and went to a Grateful Dead concert. Um, so like I had stuff to play with them on the of the way, and they're all in AA. And you know, these, this guy was kind of eyeball fucking me the whole time. And um, I mean, granted, from the get-go, this guy is the type of guy that fucks his wife for the con, just to set the precedent for the type of human being that this guy is. I was sitting down on the grass, I was smoking a joint, you know, and I looked up and he was talking about me. And I looked up and I said, uh, now this guy isn't talking about me, you're a little bit paranoid, you know, don't worry about it. You know, so ten minutes later I look up again, and he's still talking about me, I'm like, this fucking guy, he's talking about me, you know, to his sister. So, um, we finally get in the car, and, um, she's a blonde girl, and he says, you see the blonde girl next to us with that guy? You know I'm not a racist, but and you're 
you right there, you know you're about to hear some jacked up stuff. <laughs> Just the way it works. He said, look, man, I got a problem with black people. You know what I mean? I don't burn crosses on people's lawn. But I don't put them out either. <laughs> Who's your favorite musician on the Philadelphia music scene? My favorite musician on the Philadelphia music scene is Tom Howland. Between American Babies and Brothers Past, there's not many people in the scene working artistically, other than Dr. Dog, I think, that are um, that are really kind of pushing the boundaries and be able to do things electronically and um, in a more organic sense. I think Tom Howland captures that more than anyone. And it's not because I've lived with him for five years, known him for 20, and I've seen him make it. That has nothing to do with it. He's a talent. Fucking heckler, and I was gonna fucking snap this broad's neck. She fucking killed me. They're like, I don't know. Like, I'm normally a nice guy, but she kept saying, Oh, you're not funny. Oh, you're not funny. I said, Hey, your problem is that you know you took a load in your mouth 20 fucking years ago, and you're still fucking mad about it. Like, okay, I'll fucking dump my load in your mouth too, you fucking bitch. You're the type of broad that fucking gets cum on your fucking hand and wonders why it got there. I mean, stop fucking playing games. Either you're gonna suck guys off and like it, or you're gonna suck guys off and just don't suck guys off at all. I mean, what's your fucking problem? You killed me. Totally killed my whole fucking routine. I'm gonna fucking strangle it. I wanna fucking. I swear to God, I'm gonna go off like a serial fucking killer. Like a serial killer, and she's gonna find her buried somewhere. You're still mad. I'm still mad. I'm still mad. Wow. It's unbelievable. We should kill that bitch. We should kill that bitch. What's up? Dude, we should. We should. I was up there. I was up there, and obviously, you know, she didn't like the fact that, like, maybe she married a guy and controls him. All right, and that's what happens. Like, when you marry a guy, you like you take that James Dean motherfucker, that rebel without a cause that Elvis Presley, that fucking, that nine inch nails guy who has a vagina or a penis, I don't know, you take that guy and you all of a sudden you turn him into somebody he's not and then you wonder why he wants to get a divorce. I mean, why do you fucking wonder that, you fucking dumb whore? Like, why do you think there's group massage parlors everywhere in the fucking suburbs? Do you really think there's fucking acupuncture centers? They're not acupuncture centers, they're like, dude, I'm jerking your husband off right now because you fucking did away with the fucking blowjobs and let alone playing with his fucking asshole. All right? Now, what the fuck? I am
good girl. Say a joke. You want to hear a joke? Yeah. You're not going to be able to walk tomorrow. I'll walk tomorrow. You're not going to walk tomorrow. I will. Because I'll tell you what's going to happen. What's going to happen? I'm going to take you to my car. Alright? Let's go. I'm going to take you to my car. After I take you to my car, you're going to be like, oh, this animal is fucking me right now. And it's I not a joke. Yeah. They don't boast as well. Real story. True and, story. And after that happens, you're going to say, hey, that fucking animal was an animal. <laughs> that's not a joke, that's the truth. I think shit. <laughs> because I'm Spartan. Look at me, I'm that fucking Spartan, motherfucker. I, look at me, I got a cape on and my little two-inch penis hanging out. But that's alright though. Because uh, <laughs> guess what? <laughs>
Oh, it's the battery book. 